It's time to stop. It's time to stop. All of these ballast song companies, especially Max Ace and any other company that kind of starts off with like low entry and then just like goes so much up from where they were. Um, you know, I mean, uh, it's just, there's so much guys. It, it doesn't make sense to me. You know, Max Ace is known for being affordable and unique in terms of not being clones. Even though some Redditor will be like, Oh, they cloned in the past. So that means that the original ones they make are still clones. <laughs> uh yeah well anyway the one thing we can agree on is that i think it's completely ridiculous to start selling your product at six hundred dollars when you were selling your product uh between you know 60 to 200 dollars i mean originally max aces high-end products were 300 but now they think somehow some way they think somehow that people are just paying paying six to eight hundred dollars for um, Max Ace ballast songs, because Max Ace just thinks they're bougie like that. They think they've achieved, um, you know, Hugo Boss, Gucci, Louis Vuitton status. They think they're up there now. They think they're Versace. Um, somehow, okay. But it's time to stop. <laughs> Um, I don't understand well, how they're going to justify that price when they're not even doing anything for that price. Their newest design is called the Skeleton. If you guys look it up, the Max Ace Skeleton. And it looks ugly. I mean, ugly. If, if you guys said, hey, what's the most expensive knife that looks the absolute worst, right? It would be the Max Ace Skeleton. Followed by whatever one their other newest one was. The oh man, I can't even I can't even remember. There's like a newer one that's like 500 bucks also that they came out with recently. The Hellcat, that's what it is. The Hellcat. That also looks really bad. What are you doing, Max Ace? You just came out with something cheap, nice. Um, that was called what the Phantom or something? I haven't used it yet, but that one at least looks nice. Um, they come out with other stuff that looks pretty good, you know. Um, but yeah, this whole thing about, it, it's not just Max Ace. I, I know, I know I'm like tearing, tearing Max Ace apart, but you know, a lot of companies are, um, what is it called? Uh, uh, I'm drawing a blank. Guilty of this. There we go. A lot of companies are guilty of this, you know? Um, people that just, people all of a sudden just think they're Apple, you know? They think they're Google. They think they got this. And uh, they just start marking their prices out of nowhere. Like, like prices that just aren't even justified by the material, let alone the design. I mean, it literally looks like uh, Max Ace, uh, the skeleton one. It looks like they just went on Thingiverse, just grabbed like whatever w weird looking thing. And then was like, let's make this into a metal design. I think people will appreciate it. And uh let's charge $700 for it. I mean, whew, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, guys. It is a wild world. I don't think people are paying attention to the uh, economy. You know, I don't think people are realizing that nobody works and nobody has money. I mean, guys, it's not much, for, you know, we're not, <laughs> we're not that far off in terms of our whole entire civilization crumbling and us eating bugs out of dirt. I mean, it's literally getting to that point, okay? So $700 knives, you know what I'm saying? You might as well just go outside and eat some bucks. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Yeet.